Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, a lot has changed. The only thing that hasn't changed is my car is still having that um, persistent misfire on cylinder 3. Um, let me see. I went ahead and um, got rid of my E46. Um, sold that one. I uh, took the wheels and the bumper off and I sold those except the wheels. I took them and put them on my next daily that I have right now. So I'm driving this around while my um car gets fixed it's not pretty but it gets the job done um it's a 320 what was it 325i um i just put my old e46 wheels on it um the ones that came with it, i didn't really like it too much so after i'm done driving it for a bit just gonna go ahead and like resell it but i went ahead and picked up a compression tool from amazon um this particular brand uh, this is my first time ever doing a compression test on the engine, but yeah, so the, what I'm currently going to do is go ahead and pop off the all the injectors and I'm going to take out the spark plugs and I'm also going to disconnect the fuel injectors by taking this cap off right here and pulling this wire up like so. So that way the injectors won't fire and also the spark plugs won't do anything either. So yeah, I'm kind of going to do that now and then next um, hook this up and see if it fits. And um, then commence testing out and see if the, um, my cylinders are good, mainly cylinder three. All right, so I have the spark plugs and the fuel injectors disconnected. Um, you see right here. So that way they won't start up when um, I crank the car. Um, so everything is set. I went ahead and got the correct um, piece for the compressor fitting. So it's gonna start from cylinder one to all the way to cylinder six. So all I'm doing is I just go ahead and put the car in park, um, brakes and and that pretty much gives you your reading so you're gonna get like a bunch of errors like engine malfunction and stuff like that don't worry about that that's pretty much the what was it come on spark plugs disconnected the fuel injectors disconnected and all that first cylinder is at 150 psi so hopefully the rest stay around 150 so cylinder two is a little bit higher. It came out at 160 um, PSI. So on to the next one. So just did the third cylinder, the cylinder that I really cared about. And as you see, it has not moved. It is at zero. So I have zero compression in cylinder three. So hence why I'm having the misfires. So something is up in cylinder three i'm not sure what it is i'd have to do a leak down test to figure that out but pretty much yeah this engine is done for at least not done for but yeah i need to open up the head just to figure out what's up all right so this is my final numbers right here um yeah sums up with cylinder three no compression at all so um yeah, so like I'm about to take the head off and see what's up with it. Most likely I'm assuming it's a valve issue or something like that. So it pretty much happened right after I had um, got gas. So like the injector failed on cylinder three and hence why I got a new injector if you looked at the prior video I had. Um, so yeah, I guess injector three failed and detonated and caused cylinder three to go out. But yeah. Um, so in my next video, pretty much I'm going to go ahead and like start tearing this whole thing apart and get the head off. Um, I'm going to look into new, um, pretty much rebuilding the head. Um, I think that would be more cost effective. I would like to just go ahead and just buy a separate block and just like build that up. But, uh, I really want to get this thing back on the road. So I could go ahead and sell this. Man, I hate those headlights. But, um... Yeah, so I'm pretty much you get this up and running soon. So till next video.